Yo, what is good Celtics Nation? Welcome back to the channel, guys. And we have some very exciting news today. Robert Williams has been in the lab. He's been getting better in ways that we have never seen him try to improve before. And as you can see in this video, we see a lot of jump shots. And if you have been watching the Celtics over the past few years, ever since he's joined the Boston Celtics, we have probably we could probably count on our hands how many times Robert Williams has done a shot just like that. A mid-range jumper, a three-pointer. I don't even know if he's ever attempted a three-pointer in his career. Comment down below if he has. But we have never seen this type of development, this type of uh, you know training from the offseason. Looks like he really wants to get better. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you guys how this could affect the Celtics season because I think this could be crucial um, in terms of getting Banner 18 here next season. Uh, but before we get into the video, before I break down why this could be huge, but also I don't want to overreact. Before we get into that, make sure you guys do me a favor. Smash that like button, Celtics Nation. Join the family. Let's even get the video up to 100 likes. I am posting this on my backup channel, so hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I will be covering everything Celtics on this channel and... I do have some breaking news about this channel coming up here shortly that I will be dropping within the next few weeks here. So stay tuned for that. Big news, massive news, and Celtics Nation, you're going to want to be here for that. So join the family, try and post notifications. But without any further ado, let's get into this video. And I know you're going to be kind of, uh, you know, you're going to be seeing a lot of the same highlights here. It's a 30 second video. I'm just having it rerun. But Robert Williams has been in the lab trying to improve his jump shot game. Now, the reason why. This is so important is because the offense with Robert Williams on the floor is very one-dimensional. Obviously, he has to be in the paint because he doesn't have a jumper. So teams, you know, look at Robert Williams offensively and say, you know what, since he can't shoot, sag off. Let's just play the paint and make sure Jalen and Jason can't or don't have a wide open lane to the basket. Now, if Robert Williams can develop a sense of a consistent jumper, this will make us much more versatile in the sense that teams won't be able to crowd the paint when he's in the game. And one one thing I need to say right now is the projected starting lineup for Boston is Derek White, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Porzingis, and Al Horford. Now, the reason you don't see Rob Williams in that or projected starting lineup is because he kind of makes their offense a little bit more one-dimensional in that turn, in that sense, that he can't stretch the floor. However, if he can stretch the floor, this, this will make our team so much better, so much more versatile, and will open up things for Jalen and Jason all day long in the paint. But the thing is, I don't want to sit here and I don't want to overreact. Now, the reason being is because every single year we go or we, you know, we're in the offseason and we see a guy like Andre Drummond working on his threes. And we see him hitting a bunch of threes in the offseason. We see guys like Clint Capella at times shooting threes in the offseason, making them, getting them to go. And, you know, there's a bunch of guys in the NBA in terms of centers, big men who primarily feast in the paint. Hassan Whiteside was another one who primarily, you know, feast in the paint, get dunks, rebounds, block shots. Um, and then they work on their their, their jump shot game, their three-pointer game. But it never really, uh, you know, acclimates to the NBA level. It never really shows an NBA game. It's always just something they work on, um, but never really prioritize and, and make it a thing to, you know, go into the NBA season and attack it. You know what I mean? So I don't want to overreact because, yes, he could be sitting here practicing these three-pointers. He could be practicing his jump shot. But at the end of the day, if he isn't consistent at the NBA level in a game, then teams aren't going to change their strategy, and it might make us a little bit less efficient. So, yes, I'm loving the fact that he's working on it, and I think he has a ton of work to do going forward. And I, this is just the start of something that could be amazing going forward. However, we're at the point where we don't really know how much this is going to affect his game, if it's going to affect us, if he's actually going to start shooting, if he's going to be comfortable shooting in games. We don't really know. But if he can, if he can, you know, shoot 35% from three, which is a big ask, I, big ask. If he even shoot 33% from three, I would be okay with that. That would be fine with me. Um, but I do think that Robert Williams is very one-dimensional offensively. You don't see him work in the post a lot. You don't see him shoot a lot. It's primarily, you know, big putback dunks. It's, it's lobs. It's uh, offensive rebounds. And that's about it. 
Offensively, he's very one-dimensional. Defensively, one of the best shot blocking bigs in the entire NBA due to his, you know, crazy athletic ability. But like I said, if he can if he can shoot some threes, and we all know what Joe, Joe Mazzulla wants to do. I mean, we shot like the most threes in the entirety of the NBA last year. So he wants to shoot threes. So I guarantee you he kind of was like, Rob, let's see if you can shoot some threes. Let's see if you can expand your game a little bit. But until then, I do think Chris Porzingis is an excellent fit in terms of being able to shoot the ball, score in the paint, block shots to the rim, move defensively. Christos Porzingis is the perfect player to play big for us, as well as Al Horford. I know he's struggling in the playoffs shooting threes, but if we can just build some more three-point shooting around Jalen and Jason, it's going to leave the paint wide open. Wide open. So we'll see if Rob Williams can continue to uh, develop, find more consistency. But right now, this is just the early stage of this. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Um, I think that this is very good news. However, it's kind of just a wait and see game. In the preseason, I want to see him test it out. I want to see him shoot more threes. I want him to be comfortable shooting threes because we, we've we heard of guys like Ben Simmons, uh, you know, being able to shoot threes in college um, and then coming into the NBA and losing confidence. So confidence is a big thing. If Robert Williams can find a sense of confidence and consistency in terms of shooting, this could be crucial, vital, massive for the next step of the Celtics getting banner 18. Guys, let me know what you guys think about Robert Williams trying to develop this jumper, this little floater game, this three-point shot. What do you guys think about it? Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, join the family, turn on post notifications so you guys are notified every time we go live for uh, or every time we post a video here on the channel. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Today's video is brought to you by Pro Class, the absolute best place for you to take your game to the highest level. It's the first of its kind sports training and development platform where you can reach your highest potential by learning from some of the best athletes on the entire planet. Some of these guys include Damian Lillard, De'Aaron Fox, Allen Iverson, DeMar DeRozan, and so many more. And I have some great news to you guys. If you guys go use my code, MADDYDUBS, you'll get 50% off hundreds of training videos, workouts, and drills, and you can get in the lab right now. So go check it out. Go steal some of the secrets from some of the top players in the world right now. And if you are interested in developing your skills at any level, if you play in middle school, high school, college, or if your goal is just be a better athlete, a better basketball player, this is where you need to go. Nobody else does this. Go check them out and you can learn, develop your skills at a fast level you know pace high speed level click the link in the description for instant access to all of the secrets in the world and remember using code maddie dubs will get you 50 percent off right now so don't miss out on this offer